Hi, boys and girls. I hope you're liking these urban legends from the Killer Hairdo and other urban legends book. We are on chapter five today called The Hook. Oh, I actually remember hearing this story when I was a kid. All right. So it says two teen girls, two teens get lost on a dark road. Chapter five, The Hook. It was late at night. A lone car drove down a dark country road. A boy and his girlfriend were in the car. They were driving to his family's cabin. The boy was behind the wheel. He had just learned to drive. He had never driven to the cabin before. I think we're lost, his girlfriend said. She sounded nervous. Just relax, said the boy. I had the directions on my phone, and my mom is waiting for us at the cabin. The girl turned up the radio. The loud music made her feel better. Then suddenly, it stopped. A reporter came on with a news flash. A dangerous criminal has escaped, he said. He broke out of the state prison an hour ago. The prison is near Blackfish Lake. If you're in the area, stay inside. Lock your doors. Blackfish Lake, the girl said in a shaky voice. Did we just pass that? Shh, said the boy. Let's listen. This prisoner is dangerous, the reporter warned. His right hand was cut off during a crime. He now has a sharp metal hook on for a hand. He has killed ten people with that hook. The girl gasped. Just then, the boy pulled over. What are you doing? We have to get away from here now, the girl screamed. Just a minute, said the boy. I have to check the directions. He grabbed his smartphone from his pocket. The girl stared into the darkness. Was the killer out there? The girl's heart began to pound. Then she heard a noise. It scared her. It sounded like metal scraping on metal. Did you hear that? The girl screamed. He's out there. Calm down, the boy said. I did not hear anything. I think you imagined it. The girl tried to be calm. But then she heard the sound again. Something was scraping on the back door. It was right behind her. We have to go, she cried. He's out there. He's trying to get in. The boy did not believe it, but he could see that his girlfriend was really scared. He felt bad, so he stepped on the gas pedal. He drove forward. The car zoomed down the road. The girl was freaked out. She sobbed and sobbed. She could not stop. She could not forget that awful sound. An hour later, they finally reached the cabin. Come on, the boy said. We made it. You will feel better inside the cabin. They opened their doors. They got out of the car. Then the girl screamed. She pointed to the back door. The boy ran over to investigate. Now he saw it too. Something was hanging from the door handle. What was it? It was a sharp metal hook. It was still dripping with blood. So this one is easy to figure out. Take a dark, lonely road out of some teenagers who don't uh, listen to warning. Makes it a killer on the loose. You got yourself the recipe for many horror stories and movies. It was also the perfect recipe for an urban legend. Let's go back and take a look at this picture really quick. You see here, she um, is hearing it. The boy does not believe it. Um, okay, so the girl stared into the darkness. She wondered if anyone could see her. So creepy. All right, boys and girls, please make sure you complete the Google form questions and then hit submit on the assignment in Schoology so I can check the form and give you guys a great, great job this week. Have a wonderful week.